here I might find five useful mid-journey resources. These resources will speed up your workflow, give you references that you need to create the art that you want. So let's dive our straight in. Number one is this incredible GitHub wiki that has endless references for you to scroll through. You can have a look, for example, at prompt formatting. And here it has generated a huge amount of images that can show you how changing the text inside of your prompt affects the output. So, for example, you have here a sphere in the style of a liquid crystal. You can open this up and you can see liquid crystal spheres and how beautiful they are. You might even then have a look at milky quartz and see how this type of sphere is generated inside of Midjourney. <laughs> but oh boy, this resource doesn't just have this, it has a huge library of images for you to quickly see how using different parts of the parameters can affect your images. So it's great for finding inspiration for new styles to try out inside of Midjourney and being able to see what they're going to do to your work without having to wait to generate images. I particularly like this Sinopezia color palette, which I'm going to try out myself. And Saipanese, if you're interested, is a medical term for seeing everything tinted with blue. So my next resource, which I recommend, is going into the Prompt Craft channel inside of Midjourney. And here you will find a community of people discussing how to get the most out of Midjourney. There'll be this wonderful feedback that you can get for any question that you need, with people readily available to give you help to get closer to the art that you desire. Now an awesome little thing inside of this little channel is if you come up to the top there is a pinned messages section here. There, there are a number of really useful resources pinned inside of this chat and one of these is my next most useful resource which is this wonderful table that someone has created. His name is Fractal and what it does is it will tell you what size of image you're going to get once you upscale depending on the aspect ratio that you choose at the beginning. So you can start off at the top with the aspect ratios that we have and then you zoom out following the arrows to find what size they're going to be if you upscale them to the max for example. So if we start with 5 by 2 you zoom all the way up to this little orange box and once it's been upscaled you will end up with an image that is 2304 pixels wide by an image that is 896 pixels high. So this is a great tool for understanding exactly what resolution you're going to get when you upscale your images. Next up is Unsplash. Now this is a library of free images that you can use in your prompts without worrying that you are plagiarizing or stealing somebody's work. So you can come through here and look for inspiration and use these as image prompts inside of Midjourney. So another thing you can do with these Unsplash images is you can use them with my next tool, which is the complete opposite of a text to image generator. It is an image to text generator. So what you can do is you can take an interesting image with some content that you like. You can put it into this tool, replicate, and it will output some very useful keywords that you can use to generate your new artworks. How fabulous is that? For example, this man on a horse riding through the forest has been outputted as a man riding on the back of a white horse through a forest, a detailed map painting by Jeremy Geddes. So you can see it will give you some artist styles that you can try out and some really useful keywords. Finally is this spreadsheet of artistic styles and what it has is a list of artists and examples of their work in portrait, in landscape and a generic artwork. So you can find great inspiration for different styles and it's very easy to open these up. All you have to do is come into the search bar at the top, copy the URL, paste it into a new window and you can see a full screen image of the artist. So if these are my top five mid-journey resources. Let me know if there's any others that you find useful in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more about mid-journey, check out my course on Udemy. And please like, comment and subscribe and have a delightful day. Whoa, I'm so sorry about that. That was disgusting.